Good morning, Orange Nation. Happy Saturday and welcome to day 94 of your at-home workouts. We have got an upper body and core session for you today. For that upper body, we're going to be supersetting. This means you've got two exercises that you're going to perform back to back and each of them is going to be using the same muscle groups. This is going to be quite tiring, so you need to use that muscular endurance to get through them. We're going to follow those two with a power move to drive that heart rate up and get you those flat points. You just need a sturdy stool or chair, two medium weights and two heavy weights, and you are set. We shall see you at 10 o'clock. Take care, team. Remember, it's not what you do, but it's how you do it. If you're looking to be different, separate yourself from the pack, then I encourage you to work hard in silence and let your success be your noise. What's up, Orange Nation? It's Coach Didi here, coming to you live from beautiful South Florida. And today, we're gonna be sharing space right here in my living room. I'm so excited to be chosen as one of the coaches for our at-home workouts, Hometown Edition. So let's get things started with a four minute dynamic warm up consisting of four exercises that's going to perform for one minute a piece. You all ready? Let's get to it. Starting with our fire hydrant, we're going to begin down on all fours, making sure your hands are directly under your shoulders. And what we're looking for is just your range of motion. It's a circular pattern as we open up the hip flexors. Remember, 30 seconds each side. Transitioning right into our plank to a plank pike. Notice the chin is tucked slightly. We're gonna lift the hips towards the ceiling, coming up on toes and coming back to a parallel flat platform. Number three, we'll stand up. It's our body rotation. One hand is on the hip, palm is facing the ceiling and we're gonna twist and rotate, opening up the thoracic spine. Make sure you stay on your toes and let your body spin on a dime. The last one is our curtsy lunge to an oblique crunch. You're gonna keep your chest proud. You're gonna step back at a diagonal and then just lifting up your leg just to your range of motion. If you need an option, just go ahead and decrease your range of motion. Family, we're fired up, we're ready to go. It's time to work.
don't count your minutes, make your minutes count. All right, Syria Nation, welcome to beautiful Denver, Colorado. My name is Scott, and I'm gonna be your coach for block one. Here's the deal, we have eight minutes of work, three exercises for three rounds, 10 reps a piece. After that, two exercises to repeat until time is called, 10 reps each. We're gonna get started today with weights around the house. Today I have five pounds of rice in each hand. Laying on your back, you're gonna drill your feet into the ground, press through your feet, hands up to the ceiling. Slowly inhale as you open up, exhale, giant squeeze to the top, really focusing on the midline of your chest here. 10 reps, then weights away. We're taking it to side to side push-ups. Feet a little bit wider, slowly on the way down, drive up, walk your hands over. Option, same idea, push up from your knees, then lift up, lock it over. Third exercise, stay right here. One foot comes outside, chest lifts, you're gonna drive and switch. 10 total reps on your wide mountain climber. After three rounds of work, we're gonna take it down to your forearms. Kick your legs out and back, 10 reps. Option, toe tap, control the work, right here. Final exercise, lay down, hands out to support your head. Gently exhale as you peel your chest up and slowly lower down. Give a good gentle pause, squeeze at the top and slowly lower back down. Eight minutes of work, let's get started.
Now's not the time to back down. It's time to boss up. Let's burn. What's up, Orange Nation? My name is Coach Shay, and I'm coming at you from the beautiful Southwest, Albuquerque, New Mexico. All right, team, let's hop straight into block number two. We are going to blast out your core. We have five minutes of work, three movements that are gonna be back to back for 30 seconds a piece for a total of three rounds is gonna get us through it. You will have a 15 second recovery in between rounds one and two, so let's check out your movements. We're gonna kick it off with an alternating single leg V-up. So lying down supine on the ground, leaning on our backs, we're gonna get our arms and legs in a full extension. From here, peel your shoulder blades up off of the ground, aiming to reach your fingertips to the toes. Keep your chin away from the chest and give it about a one to two second stick at the top to really feel that quake in your core. If you need an option, you're just gonna drag the knees into the chest to shorten the lever just a touch. Second movement, we need a light to medium dumbbell or object. I'm gonna be using my handy dandy paper towel holder. We're going for a double crunch. Same set position, legs and arms in that full extension. From here, peel your shoulder blades up off of the ground as you take that object up and over your knees. Notice that the shoulder blades peel up, but the lower back stays glued. If you need an option, you're gonna shorten the lever by tapping the toes to the ground, or you can always get rid of that object or weight if you need to. Final movement, you need a bench, a chair, or something sturdy to put your feet up on for a decline mountain climber. I like to start with my hands on the ground first, then walk my feet up to the bench, the middle meaty part of it. Drop your hips, shoulders stacked over the wrist. From here, keep your core tight. You'll start to march your knees into your chest. If you need an option, ditch the bench and bring it right down to the ground for a normal mountain climber. We have five minutes of work. Let's turn it up.
You don't do something to be average. So don't give average effort. Give yourself awesome and you will become awesome. All right, team, let's get ready for block three. It's gonna be an eight minute block. You'll have five exercises and we'll do each exercise for 10 reps. You're gonna want two objects equal or similar weight. We'll start out with that hip hinge high rope. We want those feet to be about shoulder width apart. We're gonna hinge the hips, tabletop with the upper body. You wanna grab your two objects so your palms are facing back. Pinch your shoulder blades and drive those elbows back. Keep a nice slow tempo, one second up, and then three slow seconds down. Your option on this one, you can reduce the range of motion, or we could turn those palms facing each other into that neutral grip position. Next, you're just going to need one object for that ISO hip bridge pullover. Take it down to the ground. You want your feet shoulder width apart, and we want those hips nice and high into that bridge. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze that core, grab your object, we want to reach up above your head, biceps to the ears, and using that core, pull it right back over to that starting position. Option on this one, you're just going to reduce the range of motion and not take it down as low, but trying to keep those hips nice and high. After that, your third exercise is going to be a pop jack. We want to get down into that plank step position. Shoulders over wrists, hips down, and body straight. We're gonna bring those knees up to the outside of your arms. Make sure you're not bouncing at the bottom. Keep it in that low squat, and you're gonna pop the feet back out into a plank. Option on this one, step the feet in, and then step the feet out. All right, those three exercises, you're gonna repeat three rounds. After that, you're gonna go back to your forearm plank jack and your back extension, and you'll repeat those two for the remainder of the time in the block. All right, let's do it.
All right, team, amazing job. You have come so far and let's push a little bit further. You are so much tougher. You're stronger than you think you are. Let's go family. This is it, the final block of the day. Let's knock this out real quick before we earn our flexibility and a little bit of a cool down. So this last block is gonna consist of three exercises, 30 seconds a piece with a 15 second rest at the end of each and every round. Let's start it off. Beginning in a seated position, this is gonna be our crab alternating toe touch. Fingertips are facing the back of your heels. Your hips come up just a couple inches from the floor. Extend out and meeting your toe right at the top. Option, just shorten your range of motion and just come up to your knee. Moving right into our kneeling plank, low high, and the setup to this is key. So you're gonna start on your knees with your elbows directly underneath your shoulders. We're gonna feel this in your triceps as you extend up. Notice you're driving through your palms and your arms really don't move. Squeezing your belly button to your spine the entire time. Option, we know it all too well, it's our palms to elbow. Hope you guys are ready to finish. It's gonna like this. It's our incline and running man to get our heart rates elevated. Same plank position, making sure your body's in a straight line from head to toe. Bring your knee to your chest, work in the tempo. All we're looking for is your best. Option, slow it down and go ahead and march in place. This is it, family. Let's crush the game.
Take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live. Awesome job today, team. You made it to the very end, your flexibility block. Thank you so much for joining myself, Coach Danielle, and Coach Scott for today's workout. Our flexibility block is gonna be five minutes of work. We have six movements that we're gonna be holding for 20 seconds apiece. We're gonna start with your standing scaling stretch. Feet are gonna be shoulder width distance apart. Take your right hand to the small of your back, left hand to right ear, and then just let your head naturally fall on over to that left side. Not only a great stretch in your neck, but that opposing shoulder as well. We'll hold that for 20 on the right, and then go 20 on the left. Second movement, tricep. We're gonna go ahead and extend your arms fully, and then go ahead and hinge at the elbow. You're gonna give yourself a nice pat on the back, Pull down on that elbow to really open up the front of the tricep. We'll go 20 seconds on your right and then 20 seconds on your left. Now y'all are gonna be sore tomorrow from all the pullovers, side to side push-ups, chest flies, so none other than a standing chest stretch. Arms fully extended up above you and then drop your elbows down until you hit that goal post motion. You're gonna go ahead and draw your elbows and your arms back to retract your shoulder blades and open up your chest nice and wide. We'll be there for 20. Fourth movement is a reverse shoulder stretch. So you're gonna interlace your fingers behind your back. Once you get into that position, peel your arms away from your body. We'll hold that for 20 seconds. If your range of motion doesn't allow you to do that, just whatever feels best. Then we're gonna take it down to the ground for a runner's lunge with an overhead reach. So right leg up, left leg down, shift forward in your hips so you open up that left hip flexor. Right hand on hip, left arm extended, and then lean on over to that right side. Since we blasted out at your core, this one should feel good. 20 on your right, 20 on your left. Final movement, seated body twist. Sit up nice and tall on the glutes. Take your right foot over your left leg, left arm over right knee, and then go ahead and twist your body to that right side. This should really not only open up your back, but help out your core and your shoulders as well. We got five minutes on the clock. Let's go ahead and finish in three, two, one.
direction. It's the bottom of the glass, and I'm running up for a second. I'ma try again. It's a night full of second chances. Second chances. Just a little more dancing, a little more taking chances. Just a little more glancing, a little more more advancing. Just a little more dancing, a little more less for granted. Just a little more dancing, a little more dancing. Have it down the one and that's all right. Do it for the fun and that's all right. Stay out till the sun and that's all right. Knew it would lead to something. Knew it would lead to something. 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 You're such good trouble. Can I explore with you? But that's cause it's the truth